This is the Ejo Epic SE. It stands for Sport Edition. And it's one of my favorite folding electric bikes, in part because it's really well balanced. Battery is built into that down tube right there. And it's relatively affordable, but it's still got a lot of features. You'll notice there's the fenders. They're not quite as long. Uh, they don't give you the quite the full coverage of the Epic Lite and some other folding electric bikes, but they're still decent. It's got the suspension fork up front. Uh, in the back, you see there's like this elevated rack, so you still have some storage. It's not perfect. You can see how, you know, this seat kind of has a handle, which is neat for, for lifting this thing, but uh, it sort of blocks your capacity. Thankfully, there's those sidebars that still let you uh, you know use panniers or something and frankly having it elevated like that gives you a little bit more room for panniers considering that this has uh, slightly smaller smaller wheels so 20 by 1.75 inch wheels here kenda case shield puncture resistant and they look pretty good so these are 160 millimeter discs the front and rear decent looking rotors kind of generic um, that matches these uh, these brake levers as well. There's no rubber, there's no bell built in, but they still have the electronic cutoff, which is pretty nice. And there is a little bell right here, which is sort of fun. You know, basic, but pretty feature rich all around this bike. So the motor back here is a 350 watt geared motor, right? So it's a little bit lighter and more torquey than if it was gearless. And it does freewheel, so you're not gonna get any, any drag as you're coasting along. I like that it's in the back because that gives you a little bit extra traction and you know it sort of balances out with the battery which is in the front part of that top tube down tube right there and they uh, they estimate the range on this bike up to 30 miles and it that really depends on which level of pedal assist you're in uh, or if you're using the throttle because this bike does offer both and that's kind of cool but again with the 20 inch wheels you get a little bit of extra mechanical advantage uh, in the in the hub motor right there so that's kind of a neat neat setup uh, the charge time on this is estimated at about four hours and the battery is a 36 volt nine amp hour lithium polymer and it's right there inside the frame i'm gonna bust that out in, in just a minute the way you activate this bike is through the sort of basic led display panel right here and you know it's it's reachable if your hands on the grip on off switch you can actually change between uh, throttle mode or pedal assist mode and then there are three levels of assist low medium high and it just sort of cycles through them. There's no speedometer here. You can't really tell quite exactly how full the battery is. It's just a, a voltmeter, but you know, that helps to keep this bike a little bit more affordable. Again, at about $15.99 uh, for that. And as we open up the frame, it's 6061 aluminum alloy. So relatively light, a little bit stiffer. And again, I, I like this suspension fork and this padded saddle, cause it kind of, you know, smooths out the ride a little bit. And with these folding bikes, Oftentimes there isn't enough, I, I guess the, the seat post, if you tried to replace this with like a thud buster or something, um, and depending on how tall you were, it might not work. So again, it's nice to have, have these slightly larger tires and stuff. And also this chain guide on the front, we've got this nice plastic, you know, which is okay. It'd be nice if it was like aluminum alloy, but this keeps it a little bit cheaper. And frankly, it does keep the chain on track and it protects it a little bit if you fold the bike and this bumps a, a curb. You're not gonna hit the teeth and hit the little plastic thing. And there's the cadence sensor. It's got 12 magnets, which is pretty good. That's actually an upgrade. A lot of the older bikes only had six magnets. So it's pretty responsive. It starts and stops more quickly as a result. Oh, and actually, while we're looking at the cockpit up here, uh, seven speed grip shift or Revo shift by Shimano, pretty well integrated in these slightly ergo grips. That's awesome. Seven speeds is, is pretty good for a folding electric bike, um, especially because I think most of the time this is like to put on your boat or RV, or maybe you live in an apartment and don't have a lot of space. Um, I don't know if it's getting quite the same use a lot of times as like a full size bike, but to have that kind of gear range is really, really nice. So this is the Shimano Turney TX hardware, you know, decent and uh, just pairs nicely with the front. These pedals aren't as stiff as maybe metal, like aluminum alloy ones would be, but they do fold. So that gives you even more compactness. Oh, I should mention there's a quick release on the front and the seat. So that's kind of a little extras. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop on this and let you hear the motor and test out the responsiveness on pedal assist. But first, let's just do a throttle test. 
Again, this is a 350 watt geared motor. Not the largest spec there, but pretty good in terms of weight. And about, I think this is about 42 pounds, which is pretty nice for an electric bike. Here we go, whoa. those disc brakes in action. It's fairly responsive and powerful considering we're in low mode. So if I go up to high, and here it's even more powerful then. So I like the way they've set that up. Uh, basically, you can use the throttle to override pedal assist, but you can also turn pedal assist completely off. Not too bad. So I'm going to turn off the bike here, and then you can do a quick release, and this would slide up and down. Okay, so you push in this button, that latch comes out, the handlebars fold down, and then you lift up on this and pull that out. There we go. And there's this extra metal bar down here to help support the bike. There we go. Got it fully folded. So you can see that was the extra latch. And this right here, this frame element is nice. It actually acts as like a kind of a handle. It came in handy when I was, was a, I was folding it. But of course you also have this rear handle as well. So this is what the inside looks like. But in order to get the battery pack out, you actually have to unlock it first, and that's under the down tube. See, there's like a keyhole there, and that actually, um, you know, this this metal bolt here slides in, and then you're able to pull the pack out. But you can see the, the weight of the battery, again, really well situated right there in the down tube. So, yeah, really solid setup, and it gets pretty small. So that's the Ejo Epic SE, again, sort of a sportier folding bike. Now with, you know, seven speeds, not too bad, pretty good price point, and uh, yeah. For more on this bike, including a full written review and specs and pictures and stuff, see you back at electricbikereview.com.